the issues of pricing subsidy and consumption figure of petrol remain volatile. And this is causing instability in the oil sector. An independent petrol marketer has faulted the costing template of the federal government for petrol. According to the oil marketer Mike Osatui, the only realistic pump price for petrol is between 200 and 210 naira per liter. Osatui said government pricing templates that fix pump price of petrol at 169 naira per liter is grossly unrealistic when landing costs of the fuel at the station is 194 naira per liter. He insisted that the current price of petrol does not reflect inflation, foreign exchange costs, union dues, and transportation. To break it down, I have a business editor here, Todu Okunjobi. Todu, nice to have you around. Yes, it's great to be here. It's been a while. So, it's sad. Landing costs. <laughs> that the long and short is that this Mr. Osasui is calling for the removal of this subsidy. Yeah. That if the landing cost is 194 naira per liter, that go ahead, let's sell it the way we are meant to sell it. So, what? Why are we experiencing this off and on? Well, if it, I can put it like that, it's it's really industry. it's really sad that we find ourselves here again. You know, talking about fuel scarcity and fuel subsidy mm -hmm. issues, but we must always talk about it because it's it's something that is affecting us as a nation. Basically, the major problem we face at the moment is what is affecting all business lines, all business sectors. Talking about manufacturing, um, whatever it is, kind of business you run um, for airlines and everything, and it is foreign exchange. That is the challenge. Now, marketers have come out, and even depot owners, marketers came out to accuse depot owners of selling above X depot price, which was a stipulated price given by government. But with the fact that some of the depot owners, and of course, for them to get their products when it gets to the country, because they need to have smaller jetties, smaller, jetties, smaller uh, vessels, I beg your pardon, to take the um, product from the mother vessel that brings it from abroad, because we import this product. But do you know that our marketers also have to pay in dollars to Nimasa and NPA? Mm. Now, who does that? So, I don't know. And there was a meeting, That's according to... in our country. In our country. Mm. And there was a meeting that the Please vice dollars. president mm. attended. What's in Naira? Yes, yes, last to year. Nimasa. Yes, and NPA. That's our official, an NPA. official yes. dollarization of yes. the money. Yes. So, why would there yes. be pressure on the dollar? Yes. When you're talking about the two twenty thousand metric tons of PMS, that's about 20 million liters of fuel. Now, a depot owner will pay Nimasa if he gets Forex from the direct source, that is from the i e window, which is just by prayer. You are not sure you will get it. So if you get it, you are paying about 220 million Naira to one of these agencies. But when you get from the other market, you are paying 440 million Naira. Please, who bears this brunt? So all of this has affected the price and the landing cost is not where it should be. So when marketers buy at 194 naira, like Mr. Satuyi said, plenty of them have told me they're even buying close to 200 naira. The best is to liberalize and open up this market. And it's a very difficult one, but I don't know how we're going to go about it. Any government that takes over from this government, hmm. we have to choose between the devil and the deep blue sea. No, the, the decision we has been made so already. do something about this subsidy. The decision has been made already. Uh, we merely postpone the, the evil, evil day, days um, <laughs> so that um, the cost of taking that decision does not catch up with us ahead of the election. But whether we like it or not, this is a decision that has to be taken. I was in Asaba and Aguleri this last weekend. Okay. And I saw people buying petrol at 250 per liter, some 260. Inside, inside. No, not in, uh, what is inside. <laughs> it's almost say, a norm in all of these places. In the, in the east. They don't buy In regular. the east, they don't buy they at don't. the price we buy they here. They don't. Go to the east at any they time. Don't. <laughs> they don't buy at the price we they buy don't. here. They don't. they don't buy at the price so we buy the here. Essence of the so the thing, oh. and they, they are already oh. used to it. They are already used to it. They've been buying above the official price for years. Yes. Mm. They are already used to it. Both in terms of scarcity or in terms of plenty, they don't buy at the official price. So by the time 
um, an, an adjustment to the price happens, they are already used to it. It won't bother them. What we can continue to do is to push marketers to sell at a price that is, no, is not uh, cost reflective. Yes. Even in the energy sector, we are facing that problem. Now, I mean, I mean uh, the power generation uh, um, leg of the power sector, we are facing that problem. Now, the people have to use diesel yes. to bring trucks to the north. Diesel prices extremely high now. You have to power your filling stations with diesel because most of the time public electricity is not there. Not at all. The cost of even running, if you have filling station and all that, the cost of running those filling stations is a lot higher now. That's why these guys, you know, they complained a, a couple of months back and they tweaked the, uh, the template. Yes, quietly. Uh, they tweaked it and then said, okay, people in my Duguri, this is the amount they will pay. People here, at the end of the day, you can see that even what they did at that time is not sufficient. Yes. These guys are going through hell. Yes. In Akute, when I was coming to work, only one filling station, NNPC was selling. And as I got to Ojodu, got to Ojodu, after that U-turn in front of uh, Road Safety, those two major marketers, mm -hmm. you, uh, yeah. the one on this side, uh, is it Orlando or was uh, I think it's Orlando. There's a mobile on this uh -huh. side. Mobile. They were not selling. They were not selling. Then opposite it, I think there's an there's NMPC. Another, there's a filling station there. They were also not selling. Because See? nobody wants to sell at uh, a price that does not reflect they are, they are, they are financial. So, so that, that, that's what is responsible for this. Yes, just like what um, I'm taking away from where Mr. Toju stopped. Uh, clearly, that is, that is the problem we have. NNPC cannot sustain this market. NNPC cannot continue to maintain this supply the way it's going. Mm. They should allow marketers get involved. And how can they allow marketers get involved? You should allow them get, if you want to give them access to Forex, let them get Forex. If they're not going to get access to Forex, then the market should not be the way it is now. You know NNPC is not a limited company. NNPC is buying over most of these major marketers. If you notice in town now, you see filling stations being changed mm -hmm. to NNPC. They are trying to spread. They are getting, yes. they are getting they are involved in retailing. They are getting involved. So you cannot Why? be, do you understand, you are, you are a regulator and you're also in that business. Mm. So how do you want players to fare in that kind of business? I'm just being very factual because mm. this is the truth. We cannot continue to do this. Mm. Open up the market. Is that you open up the market or you assure us? Because as we move to the youth tight season, so it's better for major marketers, more to major able, marketers more, to come into the, the sector the more than the, the regulator merrier. being the, the retailer. The more the merrier. And talking about subsidy, which is the final one we must swallow that we must bite the bullet. But I think because of the level of inflation, the level of uh, growth rates, non-inclusiveness, all that has happened, poverty, mm. our FX level, it should be a faced removal. We would have started this when crude was low. But now crude is high again. So if we want so to do difficult. we cannot pull out subsidy because we'll the, buy for, for 415 naira as of today. The, the higher the subsidy you pay, the higher the price. Yes. Because First of all, we should fix importation. Yes. We should make sure so that it's, it's really a first go. thing. <laughs> it's a one, two, three thing. We can't just say today we if are we remove removing some cities. Oh my goodness! It can, it can cause we we'll buy a liter for almost five weeks of there. riots. Yes, it can cause riots. You know, ha. but if it's face face to face, you remove okay 10, 20 percent or twenty five percent. After twenty five percent, you create maybe mass vehicle for people to move. You make sure they that they always are make that easy. promise and it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. So it's very, it's very difficult for us to move from it. And this dollarization thing. Why should, why, should, why should government establishments in our country be saying people should pay in dollars? In dollars? In our own this country. This is an international trade. I don't get it. In our own country. Is it done anywhere else? I've said it before that I went to South Africa. You know, it was only in the duty-free shops sure. in the airport that I could use my dollars. dollars. You have to change to You rent. can't. In fact, when I saw 
um, I wanted to buy CDs, music CDs. I saw yes. one that I like so much. And there was this Italian who, had, who owned the outlet. There was nothing I didn't do. He didn't take the dollars from me to God who made me. I begged him. I said, I'm going home. Please, say this thing to me. He said, no, I will only take uh, um, rand. rand from you. He refused. That's where people respect the law. How can, how can government establishment be telling people to pay in dollars in our Officially. country? Why, if we, if we despise our own currency so much, why are we surprised that the, the dollar is so high now? Why are we surprised? Why should the massa ask people to pay in dollars? So just, 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 like, just like I was also explaining, like the NNPC is now a limited company. It's a company. They are making profit. So a little bit of they are partly out of regulation. Yes, we can agree with that, with what has happened with um, the PIA and all of that. So the NMDPRA is now in charge. That's the former DPR. It's now in charge of all of these regulations and all of that. Mm -hmm. But in all, all in all, subsidy should be taken out. First to removal, I think, is what we should. Face removal. Yes, first removal, we should start with that. And the quantity of consumption. What is our real level of consumption? Because that one from is, I've had this discussion so many times, and I don't even want to talk about that. So what, what do we really consume as a country? Our subsidy bill is extraordinary. What it's, do we consume? It's, it's unbelievable. And I'm happy that even the people in government themselves don't believe the figures. Because if the Senate president can come out and tell us that, look, if we are not careful, one day they will come and say it's 500. <gasps> It's an unbelievable figure. Okay, let's, and the higher it let's is, the call. more they, they will call Oduwo, it is for, for Oduwo us. Oduwo is calling us from Ikorodu. Yes. That's Lagos. Good evening, uh, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. This, I'm a first time caller. I've been trying your number all along. Let's oh, thank that. you. Thank you for I joining us. Thank, Go ahead, uh, please. I want to thank all the all the panelists there for a, a, a good job being done there. You are highly appreciated. Please keep it thank up. You. Please, I, my question is, what is wrong in Nigeria uh, refining our fuel here? Is it, is it that difficult? Is it, a, is it an impossibility? Can't we, can't we get our fuel? Must we import? Is that not the basis, is that not the basis of the problem we have, we have been faced with? Thank you, Luo. Our time is first spent. Jire? Thank you. <laughs> The same question that <laughs> we've been working on. Even if those, are, even if those uh, refineries, refineries are, are working, working optimally, even if they are working, you know they are no, they, they, they can't work at their store capacity anymore. Mm. They are old, and at this rate, you know, refineries some of them were built in the sixties. Mm. What was the population of Nigeria, Nigeria. in around 1963? Mm. We are just about fifty something million people. Mm. So the rate of consumption now. Even if those refineries are working, if all four refineries are working, we cannot produce enough for the, our domestic consumption. You know. Hope, hopefully, Dangote refinery. We also moved in talking about that. Maybe that could come for that could come to our rescue, but I don't think it will address this issue but in totality. If not, but uh, the NNPC, so we saw what they are doing. Yes, the barrels. The NNPC has been working on the Port Harcourt refinery, which, according to them, is a total rehabilitation. $1.5 billion has been committed to that project. Let's see if that will be a total rehabilitation. And they also signed a deal recently, I think, in South Korea to also re to for Kaduna or Kassen, one of them. So if all of them can come, at least we, let's even address this issue of this freight, the, this, the movement, transportation issues and all of mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. we stop paying all of this. Maybe we'll at least we'll mm -hmm. reduce pressure on our FX mm -hmm. and stabilize our if market. We can, if they can start pumping again, pumping yeah, through petrol. The, through the pipelines. pipelines. But of course, those boys will go and wait for them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we can use the big depots that Buhari built in the, uh, when he was a um, uh, petrol, petrol minister, Federal Commission uh, for Petroleum Resources then. Mm. Those depots. You go to Suleja, we have huge depots there. You know, if so, we can put them to use again, then those tankers, you don't need them damaging our roads. Our roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that, yeah. 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 All thank you. The um, Tolu Ogunjobi, thanks, the number thanks. one businessman in TVC. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and the mess yeah. himself, Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And